while I put my clarinet together, um, I'd just like to say a little bit about my feelings uh, towards E. E. Cummings. It, um, in that little, what would you call it, biography, I suppose, wouldn't it? An autobiography or biography, biography. Most of I went to Camberwell Art School, which I did in the uh, 1950s. I was 14 when I went. They had an intake in those days, which was unlike today. You didn't have to have any GCEs or even be reasonably well educated. You didn't even have to read or write. All you had to do was paint. And I, um, I, I got taken in. And um, anybody know how this? <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, you know, I don't know about this. Um, can, can I whistle, maybe? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Any kind of manifestation will do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Campbell um, Art School in the 1950s, it's a little known fact, but it had the first um, liberal arts course of any college in the country. It was a, it was so liberal, we, we didn't have any teachers. <laughs> and um, it was very good because th th it left us an hour each week to work out what we wanted to do apart from learn to paint. And uh, I used to go in the library and read poetry books. And I found E.E. E. Cummings. And what I liked about it, I, I, perhaps I'm not alone here, what I liked about it was the eccentric use of punctuation. I, I, I think that one that goes there. Hang, hang. <laughs> Bear with me; it's, it'll be all right now. Um, it, it, and it, for some reason or another, did, did, can, does anybody here remember Carne, Cornelius Cardew? Cornelius Cardew. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Cornelius, for some reason, used to come into the art school every week. I think his brother or his nephew or a friend used to study in the sculptor school. So we, we, you, there's this great modern contemporary writer and, and, and composer, and, and I got to like him, he got to like me, and we talked a lot about modern and contemporary music. And he showed me one of his scores one day. And it was a bit like E. e. Cummings. It was eccentric. The, um, w w what contemporary composers were trying to do in the 1950s was to devise a way of writing music which wasn't using the same standard orchestration and notation that had been used for the last 600 years. So what they did, they found new ways to punctuate, accentuate, and develop musical notation. And when you look at an E. e. Cummings poem, the first thing that strikes you is that the full stops are not where they should be. You have exclamation marks in places where there should be commas, and you have commas in the places that there should be nothing at all. And the whole thing, when you look at it, it reminds you more of contemporary music than it does of poetry. At least it does to me. And um, another point worth mentioning, and I'm not quite sure if I believe I believed it yesterday, but I'm not sure I believe it today. <laughs> uh, it, it's is that, that music is the only truly abstract art. Yeah. When you think about it, if you've got a word in front of you, it says today or the room. It means something. You have a note in front of you, it's written down, it's just a thing on a stave. It means nothing at all until someone plays it. And immediately it's played, it's gone. It doesn't exist. And sometimes when I read the works of E.E. E. Cummings, I have a feeling that I'm reading something that doesn't quite... It's, goes, it's kind of interesting that the, I really like that room, room poem because it kind of reminded me and it gave me a thought about what I was going to play, because I have no idea what I'm going to play, um, in spite of what Michael said. Um, uh, so, um, it kind of, the, it's here and it's not here. Um, and, and that's how E. Cummings uh, uh, comes across to me, and, and how I think about jazz at the same time. If you could notate jazz, it would look exactly like an E. e. Cummings um, poem. If you've got a, a mobile phone, uh, uh, could you please turn it on? Um, <laughs> and, and, uh, it's a little known fact that uh, E. Cummings, uh, it's so little known that it's not true, that E. e. Cummings' um, favourite piece of music was Duke Ellington's Mood Indigo. And, and although this is billed as a, a, an original three-piece um, homage to uh, Cummings and, and Gagoings, it is actually going to be Mood Indigo. But it's going to die a death unless you all sing.
Um, so, can I ask you all to, this is the note. One of those. Any, can, can you, can, want to hum? Don't have to keep it going for long, just get me going, okay? exclamation mark <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> 